One problem with people experiencing homelessness is some of them use propane in their encampments. One person got hurt last week when a tank inside this van exploded. CBS4 Sean Boyd takes an in-depth look at the concerns over a large-scale disaster. Denver Fire says it's responded to more than 200 fires in or near homeless encampments in just the last four months alone. That's more than one a day. And in almost every camp, they say, they find this propane, a highly flammable gas. This 20 pound tank, the equivalent of 100 sticks of dynamite. And firefighters say in many camps, in populated areas, along busy streets and under bridges, they find several of these. It's a dangerous mix that's already led to close calls. Explosions rock a Northeast Denver neighborhood. We felt it shaking. As 500 pounds of propane erupt in a tractor trailer turned homeless encampment. This has become a massive problem in this neighborhood. And many neighborhoods across the city. There is a stark and a very dangerous reality that we are facing every day. Think about how many people are in these camps, the close proximity to one another, and then you add all the combustible materials, and then you add the propane on top of that, it's a recipe for disaster. A man was burned over 45% of his body last week after a propane tank in this abandoned camper caught fire. Our bushes are still on fire. Another fire almost spread to a nearby apartment complex and a propane explosion at a camp under Federal Boulevard damaged the bridge and could have caused a collapse. It's a concern, I think. Kathy Alderman with Colorado Coalition for the Homeless says removing propane tanks is one thing, but she says it's not a reason to remove encampments altogether. We need to be providing more services to those areas, more education, more assistance with the appropriate use of heating sources. Hey, this is Mark with the fire department. Denver Fire says it's doing outreach. I got a report that there's a lot of propane here, so I was just kind of checking back. All right. Fire Inspector Mark Rudolph visits encampments every week. I see you got some propane attached. Be, and I'll warns right of the danger here. associated with propane. Is that an open flame inside of here? And if you have a leak and you're smoking, you guys are going to get killed in here. While some, he says, are using the gas to fuel heaters or cooking stoves. About a dozen of these. Others are using it to make meth and hash oil. This is a uh, butane hash oil extraction device. A suspected drug lab at a homeless encampment in North Denver caused a propane explosion that could have been disastrous. The camp near a propane storage facility. When they explode, not only does it create a fireball, but it could also send shrapnel all around. It's not just those staying in the camps at risk, Pixley says, but firefighters and anyone who happens to be walking, driving, or working nearby. The city and county of Denver has been very lucky that we have not had a loss of life. Denver Fire says in many cases, the people living in the camps are stealing the propane, but some of it is also donated by well-meaning people who don't understand the risks. Denver Homeless Out Loud, which sued the city over its camping ban, had no comment. In Denver, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first.